previously on. Picked on the wrong people today. Oh my god, I just wanted to go see the grass hosp- Going to waste otherwise. No, 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 get up, get up. Please get up, I need you. Oh, Mutant. shit. Angry, armed, and shit. Inbound. Yeah, I can tell. I can fucking tell. You know what? Fuck it. Shut the fuck up. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. No! No, 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 no! Ah, look! The grave's right here! Alright. You see this, Piper? We found the grave. Of course! Why wouldn't it not be easy for me to just get it? Hmm? Of course it's not going to be easy. Ooh, damn. You know, Piper, I like you. The way you hold yourself down and carry yourself. That's the type of shit I like. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we just finished digging the grave, and... Wow! So there's lots of copper, silver... A gold bar? I can actually sell these! Fear not, though Devil's Iron makes this blade, only he who welds can make it wicked. Alright, so... I got a sword. Not bad. Alright, Piper. Let's go back to Diamond City. So we can tell Valentine what we found. Valentine! Valentine! We just did a treasure haunt, sir. It was a pain in the ass, but we did get a lot of interesting stuff, including a weapon! Case? Uh, I'm busy. I'm busy right now, Ellie. Oh, alright. What? Don't leave it for too long. Client sounded desperate. Well, like you? Still got another case if you're interested. Tracking down one Earl Sterling. Nick, where did you leave that one? I can't seem to find it. On the desk. About time Earl finally got his due. Uh, Valentine. Be back in Diamond City. Nothing? Okay, well. What's this? Earl Sterling. Case file. Ready for the case. Earl of Sterling's disappearance. Client Vadim Boro. Another disappearing act to unravel. Earl Sterling, 25-year-old bartender at the Dugout Inn. One of the owners, Vadim Boro, noticed that Earl hasn't been into work for a few days. Security was called in. No investigation, of course. The institute took him. Is the unofficial word about town, like always. That Dean came into my office, half drunk, with a sob story about how he and Earl went way back, and that he just can't believe that Earl would get snatched up by the boogeyman. My gut says he's right. Earl didn't have any enemies, at least none with motive enough to kill the guy. Not living with anyone either, so I'll have to see if Adim or someone else at the dugout has his keys. I'd rather not have to explain to security why I was picking the lock on Earl's door if I slip up and get caught in the act. That new case? I got you, Nick. I'll do the Earl Sterling case. Alright, so I have the option to either get the key t so I can unlock Earl's house or search Earl Sterling's house for clues. I'm gonna see. Let me see. Let me see where his house is at. Park the car in the yard. How about I hammer you in the heart with a haymaker? What the fuck's your problem? Anyways, I'm gonna go and uh, wait. What's this? Or I can ask. Yeah, I'll ask. 
Vadim, right? Vadim. Oh, here we go. Quiet, Diffy. All right, you. Tell me, Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? Makes you want to cut your own ears off. I don't think I noticed. You listen to it. It grates on ears like sandpaper. This DJ Travis, he is disaster. Damn. Something must be done, and soon. We will have customers suiciding before long. Damn. Damn. That's true. crazy. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. That's a horrible idea. I tell you, it would be easier than you think. You just have to talk to... Uh, you just have to talk him into following you out of town. Honestly, Vadim, right. what the enough. hell has gotten into you? Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. I'm not stupid. I wasn't falling for it. We weren't trying to trick you or anything. Vadim just likes to joke. <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. Damn. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. That sucks. He definitely needs a lot more of self-confidence. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, him. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Actually, I was thinking of Adin. just... Come, come. Have a drink. I didn't buy bar to sell water. I was... I actually needed to ask you about Earl, Earl Sterling. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> Terrible with women, mind you. Mm. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? Yeah. I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. I got a bar to run. Let me know if you want something. Awesome, thank you. Not right now. Come back later then. I don't know why we let Valentine live yes. He saves one or two people. I need to take care of something. And everyone forgets Real he's quick. a freaking uh, excuse You me. shut your fucking Question mouth. Don't be talking shit about Valentine. That's my boy. Tell Fuck me, out of here. Are you worried about the possible infiltration of Diamond City's ruling elite by synths? Yeah, Piper, I am. But I ain't buying your lousy newspaper. Oh. Uh. You uh, take that back right thanks. now. You take I that guess. back right we'll now. We'll secure the area. Okay, good. Hey, good job. You're that vault dweller. From the paper. Yeah, what about it? Anyways, come on, Piper. Let's go and explore the house. We're drinking here? No, we're not. Bye. Alright, let's take a look at Earl's house. See what we can find in terms of any clues. Alright, we're in the house. Piper, you're a journalist. Go search for some clues or some shit. Like, Ooh, stim pack. He won't be needing this. That's for sure. Nice. Some papers. Ah. Interesting. Ooh, what's this? Hmm. What? Mega Surgery Center. Dr. Crocker, resident surgeon. Reconstruction surgery facial procedure to be performed upon clearance of final installment payments. That for? So he was going into surgery. And he hasn't been seen since then. Our next visit is the doctor himself. All right. Let's see. Well, look. Diamond City's number one troublemaker. What about it? I got my eye on you. Good. Do I look good, my dear? 
Do I look... Oh. Hello, Dr. Sun? Doctor. A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Actually, I'm here on a mystery. Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Anyway, we should get back to your immediate medical requirements. Where is Doc Crocker? The last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. Actually, I'm good. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? You know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? You're talking about Earl, aren't you? No shit! I can't honestly think... Yes. You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest. Here. Go see for yourself. Thank you. But if I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. Bro, the whole time you were fucking standing there, you did not see this traces of blood? Where'd all this blood come from? Goes right into the basement. Oh, shit. Am I dealing with a serial killer? I swear to God. You've... You've <gasps> really been a handful, you know. Oh my fucking God. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be correct. You fucking chopped oh, him up! Naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. He's it chopped was, up. It was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. He's dead as hell. Patients get a nice new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life. What the fuck, bro? You killed a man, doctor. You're going to pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. Come Doc, with me if you want to live. I, I... I did it, didn't I? I killed a man. Oh, oh God! <laughs> well, there's so much blood, so much blood all over me. <laughs> I can fix. No, bro. Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? Oh my God! He over. What's going on here? Is, uh, is that Doctor Crocker? I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Really? Really? You owe me an explanation, Doctor. Your partner was cutting Earl Sterling up into oh, little pieces. Cutting him up into... Why would he? Oh, wait. The facial reconstruction surgery. If he really did go through with it, and it went badly, Dr. Crocker was willing to go that far to protect his reputation? You let this happen, Doctor. You could have stopped this. You're, you're right. I should have known Dr. Crocker wasn't in any condition to continue practicing medicine. I should have known he killed Earl. Please, just go. I'll send the report to security and clean up this mess. Wow. Wow, look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Into pieces. Anyways, let's go. This is crazy shit. He wouldn't listen. Of course he wouldn't listen. That doctor was a fucking fool. That doctor was a fucking fool. So, you ever figure out what happened to Earl Sterling? You know, that's a funny question that you asked, because I have a very sad answer to that. This was a weird one, Nick. 
Turns out Doc Crocker killed Earl and hid his body in the surgery cellar. So, the doctor did it, huh? Feels like there's a cliche in there somewhere. Yeah, I know. The case is solved, at least. He won't hurt anyone ever again. You're better at this than I thought you'd be. And I already thought you'd be good. Ellie's holding the fee for this one. I ought to go talk to her. All right, Ellie, cough up the cap. Miss Perkins. Ready for that new case? No! I'm a little busy right now. I want my money! Oh, all right, but don't leave it for too long. Client sounded desperate. Ready for that new case? So you're not gonna give me my money? Okay, bye. I'm see. I'm I'm leaving. What's this? The mysterious stranger. Case: The mysterious stranger. Sightings of a man dubbed the mysterious stranger have been popping up sporadically across the old U.S. for years now. Best case: The man's an immoral l lunatic. Worst case: A prolific serial killer. All anyone knows is his M.O. Appearing suddenly, killing without remorse, disappearing without a word. The stranger has no known accomplices, no clear method for selecting his targets, no calling cards left behind. Sightings range from the NCR all the way to the East Coast, stretching back decades. Now he's come to the Commonwealth. Last thing this place needs is another psychopath running monk. Time to start putting together the pieces to put this one away. Description. Human male. Outfits vary, but most recent sightings describe a large overcoat and fedora. Guy has taste, I'll give him that much. One man. Multiple man. A goal with minimal scarring. Might explain the long passage of time between sightings. Peers and disappears suddenly. Suggesting preternatural infiltration abilities, access to advanced cloaking tech. All but earliest descriptions suggest a stranger uses only conventional arms, making infiltration training more likely. Perps like this makes me wish the Institute had sprung for thermal detection before giving me the boot. Sighting locations Commonwealth confirmed. Capital Wasteland, confirmed. NCR, old rumors. Shady Sands, really old rumors. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen The Mysterious Stranger as of yet, but that's because I haven't reached that perk to unlock him. Something wrong, honey? Uh, no, nothing's wrong. But yeah, Basically, in the whole Fallout series, when you reach enough perks, sometimes when you do the critical attack, suddenly this guy pops out of nowhere. And I'm talking in mid-action during the cutscene. He would pop out of nowhere, and he would just shoot the target for you, and then dipped. Just like that. So he a real G for that. Okay, so since all those cases are done, I'm going to look like you could use a drink. Dugout Inn's got some cold ones. Thank you. What the fuck? Anyways, I'm going to go over to Vadim because I know he did needed my assistance on helping with one of his friends be. Did you see that blimp thing? The Brotherhood of Steel. Who are they? Who fucking cares? Alright, so let me see what Fadim wants. Because he wants to make his friend into a confident man. What do you want, Fadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. Damn. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. Okay. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of... Details. Ever been in bar fight? Um, yeah. Haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. Always in self-defense, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Excellent! Because you are going to help Travis win his first fight. Oh, yeah. oh come on, Vadim. I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? 
Sound good to you? Bitch, do you know how fucked up that could turn out, bro? That sounds like an absolute disaster. Now you sound like a fiend. <sighs> Come on! This will work! I have contacts. People I can count on. Real top looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? Why involve me in this? You have seen Travis, yes? No, <laughs> he cannot I'm not. Fight alone. Not even fake one. He needs help. You can help him. Yeah, it's too late today for me to arrange. You come back tomorrow evening after six o'clock, and everything will be ready. Hey, Vadim. Drinks! The finest liquor moonshiners can brew right here. Not looking to buy right now. Come back later, then. Okay, so I guess... I guess I'm Death claws where the real danger is. Don't try to outrun it. Just get something solid between you I and I guess it. I'll be but... helping Travis win his fake fight. Like, I don't know how I feel about this, bro. But fuck it. I'm gonna wait right here. I have nothing to lose. Alright, Vendim. Ah yes, you famous bobber of liquor on tap all day. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start like renting out. Not interested. <sighs> fine, fine. fine. You tell him. Hey there, pal. Can you just leave me alone? Oh, it's you. Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because, no, it is not. Oh, I Lord. don't. I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Hmm. Well, bro, let's do something about this then. No, no, I. I that might end badly. With these men, it could. Well, it. It, it could turn violent. Bro. Don't you want this to stop? Yes, but... Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... It will! Don't let him bully you. you like that! And Piper's jumping in too, bro! Um, hi. There. Oh. Okay. That's... Well... That's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. There you go, Travis. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. That's right. So Tell him, Travis. Thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> Were you, Travis? Were you going to say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Come on. Uh -huh. I'll beat you up! That's right, Travis! Take Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Oh, Get shit. Get lost. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Oh, hell no, ah. bitch! Fucking whore ass. Come on. Come on. Ooh. There you go. Got blown. Come on. Good to see returning customers. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, bitch. Back the fuck it, up. You beat it. Ah, there you go. Shall we? Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, let's uh, <clears throat> let's not get too crazy here. Um, <clears throat> Travi, bro. Travis. Oh, jeez. All right, Trav. You can go home now, especially since you shot the man. Beat it, lady. Piper, put away your piece! Put away your fucking gun, Piper! Shit. You didn't hear me? Do I need to talk louder? Okay, not quite what I expected, but we move on. Ready for next part of foolproof plan? 
Oh, Lord. It's not more fighting, is it? No, no. This part is simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. Really? If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Why me? Why you want me to be matchmaker now? Why do I have to be involved in this? Think about it. I am Scarlet's boss. Mm -hmm. I tell her she needs to go see Travis. Suddenly she is thinking <laughs> she is no longer just waitress. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis. And this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? So first, I had to be his tag team partner. And now I have to convince Scarlet. Damn it. Oh, this better be good. All right, let me see where this... Everyone in this city is always jumping at shadow. Chill out is what I say. You know what, S -S Solomon? I like you, bro. Your motto is pretty dope. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. Okay, that's cool. Anyways... Hey, Let's see. No shame in taking the occasional Ken. What? Solomon can hook you up. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't take drugs like that, but thanks, I guess. The fuck? Hey there, lady. Hi, Pete. Bitch, I'm not. D Bye. She stay. She stay acting like I'm harassing her. Like, bro. Ah, there you are, Scarlet. Miss? I'm on a break right now. Yeah, so that's why I'm talking to you. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did yeah. He, did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Mm, really? Yeah, absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? Hell yeah. I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Why? What do you mean? Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Wow. Oh my goodness! Matchmaker! This is interesting. All right, let me go to Yashim so I can tell them. This is some good news. First, Travis wins his first fight. And now, he's getting a girl. Ooh! You'll get used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. Okay, lady. Cool. This is terrible. Wait, wait. Oh, what? I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Yo, what the hell? Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. They took him. They took Vadim. Who? Th those men. Th the ones that messed with Travis. They came back. Said Vadim owed the money. That they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay. And then they grabbed them and said that they would make him pay. Oh. And then they just... Dragged him out. Oh shit! Something. Please tell me you can do something. Do you know where they took him? No, I don't know. He's the one that uh, has always dealt with them. I've tried to avoid them. Travis might know. You should ask him, please. I, I don't want anything to happen to Vadim. I got you. Don't worry. Damn it! Of course, of course. Of course there's going to be something yeah, set life on its terms, you know. Something bad happens, just say yes to it. No, nah, Solomon, you lost me with that so bullshit. You around that abandoned house. I'm going to assume McDonough gave you permission and leave it at that. Yeah, he's fucking dead. What you going to do? I don't know. 
So why are you talking? Bye. I can't stand that little kid. Anyways, I gotta go see Travis because this situation has gotten out of control. What's going on? Travis, listen, buddy. Have you seen Vadim? He was grabbed at the dugout, and Yafin thought you might know where Bull took him. What? That's... That's not a funny joke. Like, at all. Bitch, it's not. You think this is a joke? <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Yes, really. Oh. oh, man. Wow, is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. Uh, no, it's not, actually. No, Travis. This is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Don't do that to yourself. All we can do now is figure out how to make this right. Look, I don't, I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. There you go, buddy. There you go. All right. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't... I didn't want to have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they'll probably hold up at the old Beantown Brewery. We gotta go in there, show them we mean business, and and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll I'll get a gun and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. There you go, Travis. I'm on a break right now. Bitch, who you asked sure you? You to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? Oh. It usually finds me. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. <laughs> Anything That's funny. for a story, I suppose. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Get in really? trouble is what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. Well, I'm really happy that you're here with me. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks, Blue. That's, that's awfully sweet and unexpected of you. Hmm. So you want to get out of here? <laughs> Look at you being flustered. All right, let's go see Fadim, I guess. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.